Okay, so in this lecture we will start from uh, the Laplace equation in spherical coordinates and work out a formal solution for uh, Laplace equation when you have spherical symmetry which is inherent in the problem in terms of the boundary conditions and the setup of the problem. Okay, so the starting point is the Laplace equation uh, in spherical coordinates. We have already worked out this form. So del squared u is really 1 over r squared dou by dou r, r squared dou u by dou r plus 1 over r squared sin theta dou by dou theta of sin theta of sin theta times dou u by dou theta plus 1 over r squared sin squared phi uh, dou squared u by dou phi squared. This must be equal to 0. That is the Laplace equation and of course, we uh, will make use of the method of separation of variables. We look for solutions of this form u of r comma theta comma phi is equal to r of r times y of theta comma phi. Well, let, let us write it as y of theta comma phi at this point. Then we will see that we will do a second round of separation of variables. So, if you plug this, uh, you know, this on zots into the PDE, so then we have you know y will come out. So, then you have d by dr, r squared uh, uh, dr by r, r, r. So, I mean we have multiplied throughout with r squared. So, this, these, this r squared and this r squared and this r squared will go away. So, we are left with just y times d by dr of r squared times d capital R by dr plus r comes out again by sin theta times dou by dou theta of sin theta times dou y by dou theta and then we have r by sin squared theta dou squared y by dou phi squared is equal to 0. So, now as is uh, the standard uh, approach we multiply through uh, we divide throughout by u of r comma theta comma phi which is actually nothing but this product and then the first term this y will go away. So, we have 1 over r times d by dr of r squared times dr by r which is equal to minus 1 over sin theta times uh, you know 1 over y remains here um, you know r cancels and you just have 1 over y then you have dou by dou theta of sin theta times dou y by dou theta plus 1 over sin theta uh, dou squared y by dou phi squared that is what remains in the numerator and this the left hand side is a pure function of r alone and right hand side has no dependence on r explicit dependence it is a function of theta and phi. And therefore, if both of these have to be equal for all values of theta phi and r, the only way that can happen is if both of them are separately equal to a constant and that constant it is useful to write it as you know this product L times L plus 1. We will see how this is this makes sense uh, in, a, in a moment, but um, you know at this point it is completely general it is a constant. And now the radial part. Uh, you know becomes an ODE which is actually a familiar ODE. So, you have r squared d squared r by dr squared plus 2 r dr by dr minus L times L plus 1 times r is equal to 0 which is actually nothing but the Euler equation and you know you, you may recall from your study of ODEs that such ODEs can be solved with uh, you know a substitution of this kind. In this case if you put r is equal to e to the z the ODE transforms into a you know any simpler form. So, you get d squared r by dz squared plus dr by dz you should check this minus l times l plus 1 times r equal to 0 which can be factored right. So, this is a second order differential equation which we know how to solve and so it is straightforward to see that the solution is just nothing but r of z is equal to e to the lz and e to the minus l plus 1z. These are the two solutions. In terms of the original coordinates we have you know r of r has this general solution some constant times r to the l plus some other constant divided by r to the l plus 1 right. So, this the radial part is straightforward enough the uh, angular part you know has both theta and phi. So, we have to do another round of separation of variables and so we make the onzots y of theta comma phi is some capital theta of theta times capital phi of phi and so the angular uh, PD now becomes you know and then we divide throughout by uh, theta times phi and, and separate uh, you know the, uh, the stuff which is purely a function of theta and, uh, and stuff which is purely a function of phi. So, we get sin theta divided by capital theta times d by d theta of sin theta times d capital theta by d theta plus l into l plus 1 times sin squared of theta you know you should check this this is equal to minus 1 over 
capital phi d squared phi by d uh, d phi square. So this is uh, uh, so the right hand side is is purely a function of phi and left hand side is purely a function of theta. So both of them must be equal to a constant which is conveniently put to m squared right. So we will see how that also makes sense. So the polar part is readily solved right. So this is a familiar differential equation ODE which we know that the solutions are phi of phi is equal to e to the plus or minus i m phi and now comes a physical requirement right. So phi is this uh, angle which you know which goes around. So you have this a sphere and theta is this angle which you know which with respect to the z axis and then phi is is the other angle which is the polar angle and so the physical requirement that you know you, if you go around this uh, circle and come back to where you started the solution should remain unchanged so the physical requirement that this phi of you know the small phi plus 2 pi when you make an addition by 2 pi there should be no change immediately forces these m's to take integer values. So phi we are going to work with these solutions phi m of phi and it is customary to choose this normalization. So 1 over square root of 2 pi e to the i m m phi where m is allowed to take all integer values positive, negative and 0. So and in this form they satisfy this orthonormality condition. So it is useful to write down this orthonormality condition 0 to 2 pi integral phi m of phi times phi n of phi d phi is delta m n. So the separation also yields the other ODE right. So the other ODE is a little more complicated but so we can explicitly write down the other one in this form d squared capital theta by d theta squared plus cos theta by sin theta d capital theta by d theta plus L times L plus 1 minus m squared by sin squared theta and that should be equal to uh, 0 right. So that is the other ODE which comes from just using this part along with uh, you know m squared and you have suitably divided throughout by sin squared and that is why you have this ODE. Now this is also a well known ODE and its uh, form becomes even more apparent if we make the substitution x equal to cos theta and then you know work out this algebra and then you will see that this can be written in this form which is called the associated Legendre equation right. So at uh, you know the case m equal to 0 we have also studied in some detail and so that is uh, of particular interest in a lot of physical situations where you also have you know azimuthal symmetry where the solution is going to be independent of the angle phi and so in this case so uh, actually when you put m equal to 0 right so I mean you have it is a more general ODE and you will have solutions which are uh, you know uh, there are uh, so well studied solutions available even for m non-zero. But the case m equal to 0 let us look at the, that particular case in some more detail and you have when m equal to 0 uh, we get this differential equation which we have studied in some detail that is the Legendre equation and which has polynomial solutions uh, when L is a positive integer right. So I mean in general L, uh, even for non integer values of L this is a, uh, an ODE which can be solved. But that is going to give you unphysical solutions. We are not going to get into the details of what happens there, but um, I mean there are solutions available, right. So if you cannot find closed form solutions, you cannot uh, look for series solutions and so on. But the point is that uh, these solutions are going to be unphysical and so we will work with uh, you know integer positive integer values of L and which is solved with the aid of polynomials right. So in general uh, the solutions are not going to be polynomials but polynomial solutions appear automatically when you choose you know L into uh, L, L to be a positive integer right. So there is also going to be a non polynomial solution which again is discarded right. So but uh, the polynomial solution is of this kind right. So we have studied this in some detail so you can go back and check those um, you know. Uh, uh, earlier lectures on uh, uh, orthogonal polynomials and uh, here we will directly work with the solution right. So this differential equation has the solution theta of theta is equal to PL of cos theta right. So it is PL of x but x is cos theta. So we have PL of x uh, PL of cos theta as the solution for our 
uh, theta of theta. And so we have seen that this PL of x can be written in terms of the Rodriguez formula, right? So 1 over 2 to the L, L factorial, the Lth derivative of x squared minus 1 to the, whole, to the power L. So indeed, L in this form definitely must be a positive integer. And so the general solution, therefore, for problems with azimuthal symmetry can be written down in terms of this infinite series. So you have u of r comma theta, so there's no dependent one phi. Summation over L going from 0 to infinity, you know, the radial part has this both r to the L and 1 over r to the L plus 1. So A L r to the L plus B L divided by r to the L plus 1 times uh, Legendre polynomial of cosine of theta, right? So we will, you know, when confronted with problems with azimuthal symmetry, uh, we will just directly take this as our onsorts and try to work out these coefficients. So, right, AL and BL are of course coefficients which have to be determined uh, from the specifics of the problem, from the boundary conditions involved. And so we will just take this solution as, as a given for such problems and then work out the details of AL and, and BL. And so that we will look at some examples ahead, but in this lecture we have covered sort of the general theory for problems with spherical symmetry. Thank you.